Were you still meditating at that time since you did your 10 day retreat in Thailand? No, I, 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 I wanted to be meditating all the time, but I, I was never able to make it a, even though then I would go back and do another 10 day because I thought that would help. But then I realized it's about integration and consistency and not just, no, I wasn't, I wasn't. So what was your, what was your spiritual or, or what, what your release first? You, just, you mentioned that you would burn yourself out from time to time. What was your way of releasing or managing stress? Um, my way was exercise. I know, and, and you met, you learned masturbation at 25. So maybe that was a part of it. Squid of it yes, I masturbate a lot. For me, my release has always been athletic and working out. And I used to run marathons and that was a, that I thought that was a release for me and like rock climb and I would do yoga. I started doing yoga in like the late nineties. So yoga to me was a little bit more, um, of that, like that felt a little bit meditation adjacent. Um, right. well, my release was mostly like my friends and I would say it was exercise. It was, it was moving my body in whatever way. And what was your financial situation like in 2005? Do you have money saved up when you started this new podcast? I, I had some money saved up. So I did something really silly. I did not what I was doing. I had some money, not a lot. I had a job at the time. I was working for this production company in San Francisco, selling product, like trying to sell shows and come up with shows. It was kind of like something I wasn't that into, but they were paying me couple thousand dollars a month. But early on in the podcast, I had a lot of success in air quotes, meaning within the first three months, I got offered a live show on the radio for this station in San Francisco, CBS radio, which is big. They were like, we love your podcast. Can you come do it on Saturday nights, 11 to, to 12? And then it's expanded to 11 to two. And then I got a TV company. This was like, this was like 2007. So 2005, I was still working on another job. And then I, 2006, I started doing well. I got this radio show and then they, then I got like a book offer and then I got a TV, a potential TV thing and things were happening. Like I was six to, I was like, oh, well, I'm going to quit this job because it's, it's all happening. And then I took out a loan, like a business loan. And, um, and I, because I had such, I was very naive that I just thought, I didn't live in LA. You remember this? I, I knew no one in entertainment. I was living in San Francisco. No one was doing what I was doing. And I thought that if my lawyer called me and said, they want to syndicate your radio show for five days a week and it's an 800,000, I remember him saying this to me, like, it's a, it'll, that's an $800,000 deal. I was like, oh my God. Like, I was like, it's all happening. So I took out a loan to get me by because I had no money. And then the recession hit in 2009. You took out a $60,000 loan just before the recession hit. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I had no money. So I ended up completely not having any money. And like my mom lent me money and. You moved in with a friend. So I, I lived in this apartment in San Francisco and I sold, I sold, I still, I sold everything I had. I didn't have a lot. I sold like my juicer. It was like two of the things I had that were expensive. My juicer, my curtains, my suitcase, like whatever I could sell, I sold. So I sold it all and I moved in with my friend and I sat on her couch for about nine months or she had an extra bedroom. It's not really a couch. And I rented out my place. It was very humbling. And it was like probably one of the best things that happened. I'm going to be honest. Like I, I drove my friends to the airport for 40 bucks because there was no Uber. And I was like, if you're going, like, let me drive. I was very like, what can I do? Because I was, I had this, I knew, I knew that sex with Emily, that, that there's no way it can't be successful. I have people listening, it's helping people and there's interest. So I'm not going to walk away from it. I'm just going to do what I need to do to get by. I got a job and remember, I'm like older though. I, I was in. You're in your mid thirties. You're in your mid thirties. Your brother has this skyrocketing legal career, you yeah. know. I Your was, other friends are probably like making well in the six figures and everything. Yeah. And it was how my mom flew out from San Francisco and she was like, try to do an intervention because she walked in my apartment. <laughs> intervention. I had these papers up. It was like that scene from a beautiful mind with all my, like my mom, 
this business plan, it's all going to work. And she was like, you know, you job at Nordstrom's, like, it was a great thing. And, and Starbucks has a health plan. And I'm like, I'm not. And she thought I was insane. And I was a little bit insane. But I have You have to be insane. You have to be out of your mind. Out of my mind. I'm like, I believe in this mission. It's going to happen. It, there's too much success. There's too much interest wherever. So I didn't walk away from it. Everyone's successful. You know, yeah. Like, my mom's like, I'm not. My mom paid for my health care. She's like, I'm not helping you out, though. Like, which, again, even though she has money and, like, my brother tossed me some, a little bit of money. Like, he's like, I'll help you, but I'm not helping you too much. Like, this is not that you pay to pay my rent. Mm-hmm. But, and I, I appreciate, because while my mother and my father, my brother and my brother are successful, they could have bankrolled it. They could have been like, fine. But they were like, no. And that's when I moved in with a friend. And I didn't ask them for anything else, because I was like, I'm going to make this work. So, oh my God. And then I got a job. Thank you so much for watching. Just FYI, we post a new video almost every day. So make sure you comment and subscribe below so you don't miss out on anything. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you're really going to love this one as well. And if you ever want to see a playlist of all of my podcasts or all of the plot twists or any other category of videos, you can find links to those in the description below.